every 2023 Formula One driver ranked in preparation for the 2024 season. And joining me was my friends Captain Foxy and Luca to help me put these in order. Chat was also involved, and if you want to check out the stream yourself, I announced them prior in my Discord. Enjoy. Yo! Hello, it is me, Dan Jamin Tanjamin, no skill. Uh, and we're going to be ranking every single F1 2024 driver and all of the F1 2024 liveries. Hello, Luca. Good evening. Yeah, so Luca is here to offer his insight and opinion as well on what's going to be going on today on, on all of these drivers. Uh, so we've got all the different drivers here. Uh, as you can see, S, A, B, C, D, E, Terrorist. Uh, you know, terrorist being obviously one of the best ranks in the world. We, we, we've got that one reserved for a special someone. Don't you worry. Uh, but but Luca, I'll be interested to see your opinions and of course chats as well. So um, yeah, anything you'd like to add? Um, not really. But Captain Foxy, you, oh, it, you're a smelly man. Captain Foxy is a. Oh, now he calls me. Now he oh, calls me. Now he, now he calls. Now he's... Okay, we've got one latecomer to the stream. Hold on a minute. Mr. Wow, wow. Oh, Mr. Already, it's two minutes into the stream, and now you decide to join. Mr. Wow, wow. Mr. 305, Mr. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> right, Captain Foxy is also here helping us rank oh. the drivers today. So, Thanks, Captain. Uh, okay, so without further ado... We'll get into the stream. We'll get into what we're going to be waffling about today. We've got Logan Sargent here. We'll just pop him in the middle to start with. Um, uh, hell no. <laughs> hell no? What do you mean, hell no? S rank, bro. S rank for Logan? Mate, mate, mate. Think about it. Think about it. How did he... How did his F1 career start? He has... He literally... It, the moment he got the, his super license, he just jumped into F1. Williams was like... William saw opportunity in him. Let's be honest. So they just immediately to took him. I mean, Lo Logan, so no, Logan Sergeant can't go in terrorist rank because he's American and America don't associate with terrorists. <laughs> but he's not S tier, that's for certain. Okay. Um, yes, Logan Sergeant. I mean, I'm, I'm, I would kind of go for an E, honestly. Like, I would, I would be down for that because hey, he, he's bit it. Let me see the crash count exactly. Uh, how much damage has Logan Sargent done? 4.3 million F rank. Four, oh, didn't he win F the Destructors Championship? How much yeah. did he win it by? Logan Sargent. Point three. Oh wow! Yeah. By like nearly a million, he won it to sign. Oh, sign second. Right. I mean, that to be fair, that's an argument for him being a terrorist. D or should we go? Should we go D or E then? Right. It's between those. Uh, but yeah, okay, fine. Uh, go on, we'll we'll go. I'll D lean rank. on the side of chat. It wasn't we'll go that D. Bad. Let's go D. We'll wasn't go D. We'll bad. go D. Okay, next up we got K Mag. I'm just putting in the middle to start with, so we know who's up. Um, Can you get pole? This season? Last year. That, that was, was last that was last year. Uh, I mean, we can, so, yeah, that's one thing that goes in his favor, I suppose, is that he has had a pole position. He's had podium, right, I think? Uh, 2014. Yeah, 20, it wasn't his first yeah, race yeah. he got a podium or something stupid like that? I mean, I saw, first I season, his first season. First not, season, yeah. yeah, I think so. I mean, the thing with this it wasn't season... Renault. Yeah, it wasn't Renault, hold on. The, uh, yeah, but the thing is, this was 10 years ago we're talking. He's a bit washed, he's yeah, a bit past nowadays, his prime. K Mag yeah. losing to a Nico Hulkenberg first season, full season back in F1. That's yeah. a little disappointing. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of D's here, but I'm thinking putting K Mag on the same level as Logan. He's, be that is he's better than that. He's achieved that more in his D. career. That is D, mate. Well, then that means Logan's got to go down. I'm sorry. If, if, we go, if we're going based okay, off but, last okay, season, but we're going to give the leeway to, to Sergeant. It's his first season. Okay, fair enough. But I'm saying you can't put a man with a podium and a pole position in the same league as a guy who won the Destructors Championship and crashed like every <laughs> round. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. K Mac is like a mid, not like a mid driver. If you think of K Mac, you don't think he's but shit. Looking, but if, not if we're doing good. this, in my opinion, we're doing this in relation to the rest of the drivers to come. And in relation to like most of the F1 grid, he's not a C tier driver, at least not based on last year's performance, which has to weight it quite a lot. You know what? You know what? 
We're gonna we're gonna put it like okay, fine. K Mac gets a C, Logan gets a D. Twelve seconds later. No, no, like, yeah. <laughs> Jordan, thank you for the two dollars. Terrorist for K Mac? Terrorist TF. What just because they suck my balls? Hold on, but K Mac was no no but K Mac was pretty destructive back then if you think about it. Right, just for the dono he goes in terrorist. Okay, next up is is my favorite driver, Captain. Oh no. <laughs> Quan Yu <laughs> Joe. I love Joe. Terrorists. Yeah, Joe is a I right, if okay, look. This, chat, this requires a story. <laughs> this man I mean, is a terrorist. Uh right, we, we got Danny Rick next. Joe. <laughs> I know Danny Rick. Joe. Oh, it's uh, such a oh. tough one. Cause oh. he was good. He was good. McMahon. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, no, first of all, let's let's talk about 2014, which being so Sebastian weird. Vettel on points, it's not exactly yeah. an, an easy thing to do. So for that, that does bump him up because like equal machinery, Sebastian Vettel he comes in from Toro Rosso, destroys him, and then Sebastian leaves Red Bull. So that's props. Plus, he actually, if you look at it, he's been the last driver in like the recent past that's actually been able to bring somewhat of a fight to Verstappen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put B, to be honest. I, I think I agree with the captain. Depends what he does this season. If this season he pops off, that goes in 80. But right now, as far as he shows, that's like a B. Well, what we'll do is we'll come back at the end of the season and redo this and see like how it's different. <laughs> All right, next one, next one, Nico Hulkenberg. Hulkenberg. Oh, 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 that's difficult. I don't know with Hulkenberg, because again, he's always been consistent and he was really good again this year. He just never really gets that machinery. B? B for Hulkenberg? I mean, Ooh. yeah, his A? Was India at times was pretty, yeah, pretty but good. You're, putting, you're then putting Hulkenberg over Danny Rick. I'd, I'd just say C. He's just like that reliable mid-driver that's just the average. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, C, yeah. I get behind that. Because at the beginning of his season, he pushed a lot. Yeah. Didn't get what didn't get that podium, but 2019 was kind of the high of his career, where he nearly got that podium in um, Hockenheim. But then he kind of dropped off again. So yeah, CT I would say. Well, that that's the thing. Hockenheim, he was kind of on for the win, and then he did a bit of a Lando Norris. But I'm not a yeah. higher strategy <laughs> call. He just binned it. Uh, okay, next one we've got Bottas. Right, Bottas. I I, I mean, four. This is a tough one. Because last season he was a bit anonymous, but like, there's no doubt about it. Bottas is one of the quickest drivers in F1. Let's think about after 2021, where he left Mercedes, he was completely devastated. Like, we we literally saw how depressed he was on Mercedes. In 22, just how, how much better meant he was. It also kind of boosted his performance. Think, let's think about Alfa Romeo being like a mid top tier team. If Bottas would have gone from Mercedes to Alfa Romeo, with his current mentality, he would have actually won races. Mercedes has kind of ruined ruined him. But Alfa Romeo has kind of pushed him up a little. I would go with like B to C tier. But C tier really, if we go up, if we look at 2023 as well. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of Bs, and I, and I kind of lean more on the B side, because yeah. <laughs> Bottas, Bottas B tier makes sense, because I, I don't think necessarily he's like a bad driver, like you bad. said. I think, number one, he was never going to win with Mercedes, because they had Hamilton, and they didn't yeah. want another Rosberg situation. Um, but Only recently, him. Bottas not been as amazing, which is why I'm more inclined to go B tier. And, but it's more, it's more the car than anything, so B tier. Right, next up, Yuki Tsunoda. Oh, I mean, if you go about last season, he's like basically beaten all of his five teammates. <laughs> yeah. Um. So he has, he he is strong. He but also, not to be honest, Yuki is pretty strong. Twenty one, he cut, he was kind of on pace with Gasly, and like he, joining his first year in twenty one, Yuki was really keeping up. I don't yeah, think Sonoda's an F tier. You've got to think like 
This year, Monaco, he put in, like, just this crazy Q2 lap out of nowhere to get to the top of Q2. And then he led his first laps in Abu Dhabi when that... Because that car was bad at the start of the season, like, really bad. But when Danny Rick came back, even, even when Lawson came in, that that car was, was getting pretty good. I think there's a case to be made that you put Bottas and Ricardo up and put Sonoda B. Well, I personally, I'd say Yuki would be C or B, but just be just because in the future I can see him becoming a B or an A. And here's a take from chat: yet. the only reason he is good is because he has bad teammates that make him look good. Mate, which, that's ginger. <laughs> that's there, the guy a, who keeps blaming F. There's a bit of like a reason, a case for this, if you think about it. Because no, think about it. He wasn't that much better than Liam Lawson, who was coming in as a rookie. He should really have had two tenths on Lawson at all times. Yet, he, every race he was against Lawson, he DNF'd in, which wasn't his fault. But I think in qualifying as well, like, he was close to him, as far as I remember. And then... Yeah, I'd agree on C. On I C think C. C. I think C's fair, fair enough. Right, next up, Alexander Walbon. WS, obviously. Well, he's you not are. Nesta. I'm just gonna... What? I'm out of here. Alex Albon... <laughs> Okay, you have two race winners in B tier, and you're gonna put a fellow who's had like three podiums in S. He's gotta prove himself more before he goes that high up the list. Right, yeah, the, the one thing that's putting Albon down is his 2019 season, where he kinda, he had a good car but couldn't cook. 2020 mostly, yeah. Uh, 2020, yeah. He, he had the car but couldn't cook. So, yeah, we'll go B, uh, B tier. Just because we also kind of have to think about his 2020 season. Just a bit. I would go B tier. But if we're, we're waiting it mostly on last season, and I just think he didn't gel at Red Bull. I just don't think he did at all. Well, and you have to think, you have to think, he, in his rookie year in 2019, he gets put in a Red Bull seat, and he actually doesn't do too bad in 2019. Then 2020, he's like still reasonably fresh to the sport, and he has to perform against Max Verstappen, who absolutely destroyed Pierre Gasly. And like, was on, is basically beating every teammate he's ever had. Also, that would go A um, then, yeah. But with Checo Perez, with all of his experience, even Perez is getting destroyed. Yeah, exactly. So, Alvin getting destroyed is like, you can't really question that, especially in his rookie season. I see A's and I see, I see best of the B's. So that, that's a, that's a a a or b a, a or best yeah. of these a, or, a, or a best of these a, a okay we'll go especially a. I mean, based on last season, season was yeah like yeah. phenomenal crash the ban crash on <laughs> he got a win he got a win it gifted it by fernando one. alonso we'll just add i uh, hold on but I think Ocon is definitely overrated considering uh, yeah, he should have he should have beat Gasly and he didn't is is really what I'm getting at here I'll go C tier, but not last season. Last season was kind of rubbish for him. Quali at Vegas, what did he do? I mean, oh no, but you have to think, to be fair, Ocon's Monaco drive this year was really good. What are you doing, Monaco? Third? My brain is. He was third in Monaco. Uh... Qualified third yeah. and held oh, off right. yeah, Ferrari for like the full race. That was pretty impressive. That was a good drive. That's cool. But Gasly had one similar. I, I'm gonna have to say top of the C's. High C, low B. I think that's fair. Next up, it's teammate. Yeah. Pierre Gasly. Oh yeah, that's a B tier. That's, that's going into Alpine, a new team, and then immediately beating his team. And he said B tier. Yeah, he has to be above Arcon for sure. And and he had that great drive in um, Zandvoort this year. That was really good. Like, a, a really strong third place. Yeah, like, with that strategy calls he had, that was like... Bang on. I go B tier. We're not even thinking. Gasly in B tier or ahead of Ocon in C. I think B. And not yeah. he's not S tier worthy, because S tier has I mean, to be a like... win. Think about it, he's also a race winner. Yeah, he's a race in winner. Mono, yeah. in in At least a B, he has a win, no contest, Ocon doesn't count. We're saying just behind Bottas then, because like yeah. Bottas' yeah. full career and Danny Rick's full career probably top Gasly's. Right. Oh my goodness, Lance Sebastian Stroll. Gazil, what has happened? We need to know. <laughs> Is there something lower than terrorists?
Mean bits. Luca, what do you think? He isn't that bad. Autistic. I I I think he. Was it called him autistic? I'd Bianca. say, to be honest, like. You say C? No, yeah, low C or D. I don't think he's been that yeah, bad. Like Sergeant's post. Yeah, he's above Sergeant. Uh, I'd actually put him below Sergeant because he yeah, performs so like I... a rookie five or, or six or seven years into his F1 career. We got big man Oscar Pastry next. Oh, put the oh high C tier or low B tier. Hey. 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 <laughs> Rookie year, okay, I mean, and he was, he's, he's he kept, kind of he's kept, for, yeah, he's kept yeah. with, he's kept with Lando this whole year, basically, just race I pace, like, slacked him. I'm gonna pull up a stat for you here. The gap, if you, this is a guy on Twitter called Formula Pace, and he does, like, a bunch of maths, and he works out when drivers are on the same fuel, same tires, what the gaps are. The gaps between Sergeant and Albon, uh, Sergeant Albon, and Norris and Piastri are basically the same, like about two to three tenths at any race. So Piastri is the same amount behind Lando as Sargent is to Albon. It's just purely the machinery is different. So pace-wise, yeah, but... but I appreciate that pressure and some of his qualifying laps have been amazing. Piastri, said, Piastri also hasn't flashed there. like... Yeah, that's another thing. Piastri's consistency has been way better. Which I'm just saying, but pace-wise, like, you have to remember the machinery does do quite a bit. Which is why I say, like, maybe the mid-Bs is more yeah. realistic. Next one is George Russell, who I'm not gonna... Uh, I, I mean, I already know where I'm putting him, but you can go discuss. <laughs> How dare you back your point up with solid reasoning and logic. I want him eight here because I said so. If we go George by his uh, last year's pace and not by Tervis, I would go low B tier because... I mean, he was kind of lacking last season. Russell's getting put in terrorist no matter what anyone argues. That's just a given, but... What terrorism did he do this season? To be fair, this season he was... Well, he hit Max in Baku, but that was more of an incident. Also, it's Max. So. Also, it's Max, and he needs to be taken out. Yeah. Exactly. True Brexit. Didn't George also take out Hamilton in Qatar? No, that was Hamilton's fault. He even said... Hamilton even admitted oh. that. Yeah. But, like, when George... Solid B and or A, mid A, in B. I, yeah, I think maybe B. I mean, to be yeah. fair, if we've got Albon in A, there's a case to be made Russell could go to A. But, like, George also Singapore was... I mean, he could have gotten a podium and threw it away because the wall turned in on him. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, that dropped... Yeah, I forgot Singapore, actually. Yeah, he could have even got the win if he'd... If he'd actually been able to overtake. Yeah. yeah. He went for the gap in Singapore. We put him top of the Bs. There we go. EG have way to open. We're gonna put Stroll back in his, his box anyway. Yeah. Um, right, my name is Carlos Sainz. Okay, okay. okay. A. Yeah, tie B or A. He got a win. He was the only other. He was the only non Red Bull driver to get a win this season. Yeah. Last season. Compared to his teammates, his career was always like, oh, his teammate is always better. But last season, he got the only non Red Bull win. So, all high B tier or, or under or behind uh, Ibon. Also yeah, he's got to be above Russell because his season was a lot stronger than. I mean, he's always I mean, been he's stronger than Russell. Smooth operator. Yeah, smooth operation. It's really, yeah, it is sad Ferrari are dropping him because if you look pace wise as well, he was actually really close to Leclerc this year. But like, ha if Hamilton. you have the choice between but, Science but and Hamilton, who do you pick? Well, yeah, I'm picking Hamilton, <laughs> aren't you? But we'll get onto that later. So yeah, we'll go. Um, Stop inventing. Ahead of Albon. Yeah. I'd yeah, say. I'd yeah. say his best one so far. Right, Lando. Ooh. Stop inventing. Just, I think just top A. B tier, top B tier. What? Lando, each race, it was always like Lando having like, like a good stint or good performance. Like, there was always something about Lando going on. It's not like... I mean, especially in Silverstone. I mean, did, wasn't the gap at the finish only like eight seconds? And like, full Verstappen... Yeah, well, no, no, I think it was bigger than that because in, in Silverstone there was the safety car restart and he put up that really good defense um, against Hamilton. Yeah. Yeah.
I, yeah, I put low A tier, mid A tier, between or behind Albon. Yeah, I think that's fair. Because if we, if we if still think about last season, Albon's season was, I think, a bit better than Lando's. Right, okay, Choggle the Cloggle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be controversial here. I think Leclerc's 23 season was underrated. Because Leclerc's start of the season was really unlucky. You think he was on for a podium... And then he DNF'd. Like, think how big that gap was oh. in Bahrain to Sainz. He decimated him in Bahrain. Like, he was going to get that third place. Alonso wasn't going to catch Leclerc. But Alonso Leclerc did catch Sainz. Yeah. Then you look, he had that massive streak of DNFs and Sainz is, like, way ahead of him. And then he just goes ham. He gets... The, the, end, of the, the end of the season for Leclerc was top tier. After, like, Monza and Singapore. Also, Singapore, Leclerc had an engine issue, which is why he dropped back so much. Um, but, so, he didn't really even get a chance there. Like, Leclerc was severely underrated. He had the bad luck in Monaco with the penalty too. I'm just thinking of everything that he had. Because his radio, is well, his Ferrari ferrari did him. So yeah, no, I think he's got to go above science, I'm sorry. I think he, I think overall, consistency-wise and pace-wise, like, for the full season, science got a win, yes, but Leclerc was better, and that's why he outscored him. Would you not but say ahead of a science. Ferrari... A Ferrari win would be more like important but we have to, than yeah, consistent. Yeah, Lucas also because the contract is more. The contract says that winning is more important for them than yeah. pole positions. And especially, pace. especially against the Red Bull car that True. it was. Yeah, the, so I would win put them eighty but behind signs. Yeah. Yeah. If I because Ferrari literally is like, if you don't win for us, we don't care what else you do. Fair point, Except for me if you're Charles Leclerc. Except for my fan. Alright. Okay, S. <laughs> S, no yeah. thinking. Well, we're gonna have to dis We want to discuss him, though. We this is our chance to talk about right. Fernando Alonso. Let's talk about him, even if we know where his Fernando's gonna go. This, his last season rookie season, literally starting with podiums, out of the blue with an Aston, which in 22 was complete dog shit. I mean, that that came out of nowhere that Alonso got a podium. Fighting Hamilton, getting that sick overtake in Bahrain. Overtake of the month as well. Yeah, okay, I mean, we'll put it in S already. We're not going to change had, it. I mean, he had some downsides at the second half of the season. But then, there, then randomly, then comes Brazil, where he again gets the best... No, not even Brazil. Fear action of the, fear action of the year. Not even Brazil, know, eh? because by Brazil the car they took the up they took the upgrades off the car and the car was good again. It was actually Zandvoort that I I think is his best drive this season, because Zandvoort we all it was right after the mid-season break, so everyone thought they'd fix the car over mid-season, but it, it was actually just Fernando being a god in the wet. That's what I'm saying. Like Zandvoort the car was bad and Fernando performed. That's why I think Zandvoort is a better way to point just how good he was this season. Yeah. Uh, and also S there. 100% GP2 engine. GP2 engine. I like how at the beginning of the stream we, f we looked at careers and now we're just like last season and just lean on. Right, Howard Hamilton. I mean, in Sing in Bahrain. No, you're, 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 you're in Yapsville. You're, you're speaking Japanese. I'm going to interrupt you. No, Bahrain. you're wrong. Because Hold Hamilton, on. listen, <laughs> Hamilton, pole position hungry. I'm not even a Hamilton. I don't even like Hamilton that much, right? This is the thing. I'm not a Hamilton fan. I'm going to put this on the record. But his 2023 season was really good. That car was never second best, but it was the most consistent car at being yeah. third best for the whole season. Oh, would right? you put his career above Leclerc if you go with poles now? What? No, just the overall consistency. Just yeah, Hamilton's consistency to come to third in the championship after like that Mercedes at the start was probably lower than the the, the third best car. It's probably like the fourth best car. Yeah. And Man, he had a, a chat, poor like, season hey. and came back and destroyed nice. Russell. Absolutely destroyed Russell. Which I think is amazing. Like you Captain Foxy, I know you don't oh, like yes, Hamilton, but oh, it, he he had an S tier worthy season. That's also fair. He goes Behind below Alonso, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mercedes was also kind of lacking, so we can't say anything. He is also a seven-time world champion. Yeah, yeah. he's also a seven-time world champion. Uh, right, next up, Pergio <laughs> Suarez. Oh, God, that's a C tier. 
fair. He, he was he was better than Sergeant, but worse than the rest. Was he better Come than Sergeant? <laughs> D tier. <laughs> yeah, he was well, better. Well, than well, well, E tier is yeah. kind of empty. I mean, E tier. Yeah, E tier is actually very empty. E tier needs a friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Enchilada. How do I spell enchilada? There we go. <laughs> with an L. We put him in enchilada tier. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> terrorist, that's awesome. Terrorist, but, but uh, to be fair, no, he was a terrorist this season. Yo! He actually was. No, he took out, do you remember, he took out Thingy in Japan, and then he, um, oh, he pinned it in Hungary, and he pushed Piastri on the grass in Hungary. Yeah, oh, yeah. Perez was a big terrorist this season. Jesus. Right, okay, Joseph for Stafford, we can't what? say S. For, for S, there's nothing... I mean, if you go Singapore, okay, but SD, yeah. I'm gonna make one veto that none of you are allowed to argue with. All right, we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Did you agree with our rankings? If so, hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.